Hello everybody and welcome to another session of AWS. I am Jay Vilatkar and today I am going to explain you about how to use Elastic Load Balancer and Auto Scaling Group to scale EC2 instance. So first of all, as you have seen my previous sessions, you might have been knowing how to use the EC2 instance and create it. So if you haven't checked it, please check it in my um, last previous slides or uh, videos you would get to know how to use it. So now let's come back to the topic. So what is Elastic Load Balancer? So Elastic Load Balancer is an AWS service which uh, distribu distributes the incoming traffic equally among various other um, EC2 instances so that uh, there is no load of traffic on only one instance and it is distributed equally and it prevents the instance from getting failed or disrupted. So uh, there is another thing called auto scaling group. So what auto scaling group is? Auto scaling group basically adjusts the number of instances in your network. Like if there are three instances and one of the instance gets deleted, then it adds another instance in the group to compensate it so that traffic could be equally divided among them. And so let's start with today's video. So as you can see this is the EC2 instance dashboard. This is the ins main instance called the ELB instance which I have created. You can see this instance ID, host name, public IP address, private IP address. When I copy this public IP address over here uh, and paste it, it will say manual instance with IP as 100 whatever is it. I will just go back and so this will help us to identify that the instance is working and we can access the instance. So now after that uh, as we have created one instance now we have to create a load balancer. For this we have to go to load balancer. Um, as we are dealing with application load balancer we have to choose application load balancer over here. I, I have created an app load balancer but you have to create it like this. Go to load balancer, create application load balancer. Uh, create application load balancer. Uh, go over there. You have to add the load balancer name. You have to add the load balancer name. Yeah, keep it as default. Select all the EC2 instance as I have selected in my load balancer which I have created which I will show you later. This one uh, for demo I am just showing this one. I have just create. I have to just select these two in these instances. Then I have to give the load balancer name I just told. So after selecting these EC2 in, uh, these uh, grow availability zones we have to select security groups as I have created my existing security group. If you have not if you don't know how to create a security group click on this to create a new security group. Over here we will go over here now uh, and create security group which is opened over here. In this security group we have to give any security group name as I have already created it. I will just not type anything. I will just guide you how to create it. Uh, give your name then description is optional if you want you can give the description then add and bound rule so for add and bound rule you have to add http protocol open which i will show you like you have to add a rule because you have to add http protocol like this not https because it would charge you something and type anywhere and descriptional is option description is option and I will just give it my SG1 I will just give the name and I will just create the um, security group let's create it you can see this outbound is fine and all create an inbound rule you can see out uh, this inbound rule is created you can just create this security group. Okay, description is compulsory. So you can write anything like 
you can just give the name again you can just give it and create a security group so the security group has been created and you can just check this in the security group dashboard this is my sg which i have created uh, initially and this one is my sg1 i will show you what is there in my sg I will just open this one my sg so that you could get it what is it over here i've just included an inbound rule this ipv4 http traffic and all which i have created again for your understanding you can see this security group i will show you my sg1 again you have to go down my sg1 deselect this one see this you can just click on this one click on this right you can see this is also the same you can use anyone no i have used my sg so i will use it again use my sg so coming back to load balancers as we have seen we can choose anything like i we can choose anything let's refresh it and just check whether my sg1 has come or not this is my sg my sg1 you can select any of the security group i just select i'm just selecting it for your reference uh, we have selected this one okay now load balance tags is optional uh, additional add-on services is also an optional tag okay let's create one only let's create this one create let's create another application load balancer my a b2 let's create this one again let's create it okay so target group is we have to create a target group again because it's specific to it so for target group we have to choose this instance for now it is only instances so it is going to be instance otherwise i will uh, so for this instance we, it is rest on the same we don't have to add anything we have to add the path which is given over here which is health.html html you just need to add like this only you don't have to just create any html page or anything just add this much and it would be created now target group name my tg1 i'll just put this name let's check anything else no now i will just select this instance and include us pending below so that it would be included create a target i will just create this target group let's check this one yeah two target groups have been created so now as you have created the target groups now you can go back to in load balancer again you uh, load balancer i think so it went so application load balance uh, adjust i think so just giving like this internet facing adding everything adding everything like this see yeah selecting security